All right. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to uh, this. Will be a need for greed. That's my Battle of Wits series, and uh, welcome back to another Jeskai Battle of Wits on Need for Greed. We've been updated. We've got Ragavan. We've got some of the pitch elementals in here. Added a whole bunch of other stuff, and um, we're gonna see how we do. I did kind of deviate a little bit from the like strict control nature of the deck because the previous one was like only instance control cards. Um, so hopefully that doesn't hinder us too much because of the additional power uh, that we've picked up from like the Stoneforge Mystic Package, as an example. Did your friend win easily after the Battle of Wits player repeatedly punted? I don't know, I didn't see the game. They just play casually without recording. <laughs> The fun thing about Battle of Wits is there's, I don't know, roughly a million ways you can build the deck. And um, I, uh, I'm i going to be playing some of them. I'm, I'm always on the lookout for new cards that can fit in this deck. And generally that happens when there are, like, modal cards. So, like, Prismari Command is an excellent example of a card that fits perfectly in Battle of Wits. It does, like, a whole bunch of different things. It's modern playable. Um, you know, it destroys artifacts, it can deal damage, it, like, can cycle you through your deck. Um, is it Charm is another one where it's, like, it's damage, it's a counterspell, it's not graded either, but, like, it fills both roles. And so, like, it kind of fleshes out and helps you overlap cards in the deck. It's a big deal. Hey, Albo. We'll go ahead and play first. We will reveal Yorian. And absolutely keeping this hand. So excited that uh, U2 digs five and can cast an instant or sorcery. Oh yeah, that's uh, CMC two or less. That's a pretty big, uh, pretty big deal. I think with some cost reduction, like that might actually work in a storm deck. Okay, uh, would have put hills to the bottom. We draw expressive iteration. So that'll be our backup. Let's go ahead and Stoneforge Mystic. Can't see it being good outside of storm. Okay, we get a Cauldra. I feel like the game is being a little bit laggier than usual. I wonder if it's the 20 extra cards I added. There's a Bounce Land. Okay, put up Prismatic Endings, our uh, Stoneforge Mystic. We draw another one. Um, I think we just cast another one and get Batter Skull. Pass the turn. The blue Channel Land. Oh, that one. I was going to joke about us just being able to draw another Stoneforge, but then it happened. I know, right? That's the competitive advantage of Battle of Wits. We're going to put Cauldra into play. Try and take out Renan 6 here. Yeah, I think the blue and the green ones um, will see the most play. The red one's probably going to see play in, like, a polymorph-style deck. Okay, we kill Renin 6. We have access to Cycle, Shark Typhoon, or uh, Stomp here. Blue-red opponent expressively iterates. They put an Arboreal Grazer into exile, then play it. You think the channel lands are overrated except for Besiju? Um... I think the blue one will matter because it can bounce to fairy on your opponent's end step. So, like, if you're on the play and your opponent, like, taps out turn three for Teferi, you can bounce it with your four open mana. Not that your opponent would play uh, Teferi into four open mana, so that's kind of a pipe dream, but you know what I mean. Hey, there's Battle of Wits. I mean, that's that's technically a way we can win the game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and expressive iteration because I really want to hit a land... Uh, let's put Prismatic Vista into our hand, shatter the sky on the bottom, and exile Windswept Teeth and play it. Go to combat. Attack for five. We're probably not winning with Battle of Wits. We're more likely going to win with, like, uh, just Cauldra Batter Skull beatdown. Okay, opponent blocks. They take some damage. We pass. Yeah, yeah, I did I did say the red, the red channel end will probably be played in Polymorph. It's a little less, it's, it's, it's slower, but it's a little less mana restrictive. Like, you don't have to play all mountains like you do for Dwarven Mine. Though I'm not sure that you would stop playing Dwarven Mine to play that land. If they have Dryad, Fetch, plus land, we lose. I can react with Divide by Zero. Okay, opponent casts Bring Delight. Um, I do have enough basics, so let's go ahead and just get Modern Legal Tundra. We'll go ahead and Divide by Zero. So opponent can get the opportunity to recast this. We would like a hard counter spell, of course. Tune in, see Bring Delight as this pioneer. No, this is modern, and I'm playing Battle of Wits. Welcome, one Freeman. Um, I'm actually gonna discard Battle of Wits here. Okay, Karn Great Creator's pretty big. I don't think I have a Void Mirror in the sideboard. 
I do have a void mirror in the sideboard. So we could actually play Karn, wish for void mirror, and then they can't bring to light. <laughs> well, they can bring to light, but they can't cast anything off of it, which is pretty big. Um, so go to combat, attack them for five, hit them down to seven. Yeah, I can't, like, Karn into orbs of wording or anything like that, so... Let's go ahead and Karn void mirror. That is if I can find it. There it is. All right. Opponent fetches with Misty. Gets a breeding pool tapped. Void mirror resolves. Opponent untaps. They play a mountain. They play Teferi. And scapeshift? They just had scapeshift? Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die! I, I had no way around this, of course. I was hoping that, like, the best they could do was, like, Teferi bounce the token, and then we could just animate Cauldra and hit them for seven. <sighs> yup. That's unfortunate. Oh, I should have got Amulet of Safekeeping! I had it out! I didn't identify them as Scapeshift! I could have countered all of those triggers! Oh, no. Ugh. Nobody plays Amulet of Safekeeping! What am I, a madman? <laughs> That is absolutely a punt. Absolutely. Apparently my stream deck is not working. I, I must have bumped it and unplugged it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's still, you know what, it wasn't working the last time I streamed. Uh, oh, it might be because I just didn't open the software. Obligatory punt 20 minutes into stream? Yeah, no kidding. Okay, there we go. I would like to play first. I will reveal Yorian. Uh, this hand, not great, but it does work. Um, and I think because of that, I need to keep it. Like, there are far worse Battle of Wits. Didn't they have a Teferi? Th oh, yeah, they could have actually just unsummoned the amulet, huh? <laughs> uh, anyway, play a Hollowed Fountain tapped. Pass the turn. Uh, we untap. We draw a big Teferi. Play an island. Pass the turn. I'll still count it as a punt, because that's still the line I should have taken. But... Oh, I never let the Discord know I was streaming, but I guess the announcement happened, so... We untap. We draw a Cryptic Command. That's pretty good. Play an island. Pass the turn. Where is Sigma to notify that guy that wanted to be notified? Tormod's Cage! Welcome, how's it going? We are uh, currently having fun playing Battle of Wits. And I'm glad you could catch me live. Good to have you. So flash in Brazen Borrower. We untap. Draw a Bone Crusher Giant. I will shock Hollowed Fountain here. Hit him for three. Pass the turn. I will make the surprising play to keep up Cryptic Command. Yeah, I could have just played it tapped and left up Divide by Zero. But this way I die to only one Valakut. Alright, they've got a Sacred Foundry. Technically, I think the best version of Battle of Wits in Modern is the, like, five-color Bring to Light Scape Shift Gifts Ungiven deck. Not the Jeskai Control list. Um, in terms of raw power, but... Okay. Opponent plays a Windswept Teeth and passes. We draw a Counterspell. Uh, that'll be pretty big if we can get a fifth land and somehow stick it to Fairy. Hit him for three, take him to twelve, pass the turn. Opponent cracks Windswept Teeth. They get a Raugrin Triome. They're going to cycle another Raugrin Triome. All right. They untap. They go to play Dryad. Let's divide by zero. This doesn't counter, so if they Veil of Summer, they just draw a card. They have Mystical Dispute. Okay, that is unfortunate. Can't pay for it. So they get to play another land. It's a Valakut. That's scary. Uh, so we just lose everything here. <laughs> Wonderful. <clears throat> Hmm. So a fetch land hurts. Any land hurts, really. But scapeshift will kill me immediately if they have a land and scapeshift. So as much as I would love to just cast Shatter the Sky here, I think I have to pass. Because I'm not drawing lands. Opponent casts Expressive Iteration. They get a Windswept Teeth. Okay, so we get hit for six. Six 
go ahead and try and counter draw this. Get another useless bone crusher giant. Lovely. Hey, Mav. It's not my birthday, but thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Subtlety is not that great. Happy birthday! Uh, feels that way right now. Welcome, Jack Spicer. Not actually my birthday, but... I have a feeling if I don't shatter the sky, I'm going to die to that dryad, but... Not a lot I can do about that. There's a land. We could hit for three. They go to combat. Attack us for two, down to eight. Okay, they cast Bring to Light, so we'll let them cast their Scape Shift off of this Bring to Light, and we'll counterspell the Scape Shift. Okay. Well, we have Snapcaster Counterspell, but this Dryad is going to kill us. The odds that they have a redundant Dryad or a second Scape Shift is practically 100%. But if I don't cast Shatter, I'm going to die to this Dryad, so... Because they can fetch and then just play another fetch land and we lose. All right, pass the turn. We can at least subtlety something, perhaps. We gotta, we have to pitch the fairy to this. Uh, they put it on the bottom. Oh, never mind! They just have another one. Is their last card a fetch land? All right, we untap. Unfortunately, that Teferi is how I would have had to answer a on-board Dryad. Uh, so short of like a path here, I'm not sure I can actually answer it. Um, well, I can Snapcaster Divide by Zero. I guess that's a line. Not really the line I want to be taking, but it's a line. Oh my god, who is texting me and why? Get this conversation. Okay, well, we're still technically in it. Barely, but we are. Mm, we're dead. They have they don't have enough mountains if I divide by zero the dryad. We can actually I think survive at two life here. <clears throat> okay, opponent's gonna fetch in response. Does that get them the right number of mountains? No, they won't have enough. We still get hit for six. And they can still replay dryad. So it really depends on whatever their last card in hand is. Uh, we're going to ditch Terastodon. The two life probably isn't going to matter. A tapped red land. We're safe as long as they've drawn neither lands nor spells. An accurate assessment. Uh, if this wasn't a tap land, I could do something with Cryptic, maybe. Uh, I've got to cycle this and hope to hit path. <laughs> oh, so close. So close, but... Uh... I don't think this is going to do it. Teferi. Oh! Oh, I punted. I needed to flash the other Snapcaster in response so I didn't just die. Odds are they were going to draw a land there. And Polluted Delta wouldn't have helped. <laughs> Still uh. not. All right. Moving on to round two. We just didn't draw lands, though, is the problem. Like, that second game... We, like, I had to, like, start giving up my resources when, if I had drawn one more land, I think by, like, turn five, uh, because those lands were all in our opener. Like, if I'd drawn the fifth land, I could have played Teferi and then held up Counterspell, and then we would have been drawing two cards a turn. Um, but instead I didn't, and then I had to pitch Teferi to Subtlety, because I knew I was going to need Snap Counterspell to stay alive. Just... And then our opponent had three Dryads, but that's, you know... Kind of expected of a 60-card deck, as opposed to a 260-card deck. That is nowhere near correct, Silver, but okay. All right, round two. Here we go. I would like to play first. Let's go ahead and reveal Yorian. You know, I don't think I can keep a one-lander, even with subtlety. This is... This is better. I can keep this. Um, We put back Divide and lead on Arid Mesa. Solitude is a, a pretty big boon against a lot of the more aggressive decks. Okay. Opponent leads on Scalding Tarn, is then passing. Let's go ahead and get Raugrin Triome. We get a Prismatic Ending, which is not a terrible draw here, because um, it's something we will be able to cast, but we do need lands pretty bad. I think this is why the like green versions of Battlewits are better, because you can play things like uh, you know Search for Tomorrow and other basic land ramp spells. Or cards that will get you lands incidentally. 
Okay, so opponent fetches up a steam vents, they draw, they play a sulfur falls, and then pass. We get a fury, which was actually my nightmare draw, because I don't even have a red card to pitch pitch to fury. Pass the turn! I watch Kano in 160p for the authentic 2008 YouTube aesthetic. Oh my gosh. Y'all got any more of them pixels? Uh, put a plays a Scalding Tarn and passes. <laughs> we draw another five mana unplayable card. <laughs> Pass the turn. Battle Wits Curse. You're younger than I am, Silver. That's why I stream in QHD. Okay, so opponent fetches up an island. And they flash a Brazen Borrower. Um, I guess that means I Solitude? All right. Pass the turn. They play a tap land. We draw a Lightning Helix, which we can't cast, but we can pitch to Fury. So, mild benefit there. Still no lands. <laughs> It's not my street. It's not my birthday. I almost said, I did say it's not my stream, but that is incorrect. It's not my birthday. Pass the turn. <sighs> okay, opponent casts a memory deluge. They untap. I don't know if the bot's working or not. We do. I think we have 99 or 100 lands in this list. Opponent discards a spell snare. And we finally get land number three on turn seven. Joyous day, Kalukale. Pass the turn. Opponent casts an Archmage's Charm to draw cards. Plays a Polluted Delta. Brazen Beats planned right now, yeah. I mean, really, I, I I think that's what we're gonna have to do, but my opponent has eight cards in hand, so I'm gonna let him discard. Hey, Raylan, good call. Um, I mean, I don't wanna have to discard. I wanna be able to flash Brazen Borrower. I'm gonna Lightning Bolt their face. All right, face bolted. Okay, opponent cracks polluted delta. Gets a steam vents tapped. Opts. So is this like Merc Tide or is this a control deck? Because the memory deluge makes me think I'm playing against a control deck, but I've not seen a blue red control deck. Not in a long time anyway. Kiki? I mean, I guess it could be. All right, opponent is passing. Blue Moon? Could be as well, yeah. Says the man playing Battle of Wits. Hey, Sacred Foundry! Sick. Always up for more lands. Pass the turn. Now I can cast my Lightning Helix. Opponent cracks Scalding Tarn. Gets an island. Gifts naming four lands. I am just about there. Okay. Opponent plays Polluted Delta. That's actually why we play like Wraths with four different names and su stuff like that. Uh, so we could, like, technically gifts package if we had to. Flash Brazen Borrower. I know my opponent has eight cards, but it's Brazen Borrower just burning a hole in my hand right now. Counterspell. All right. We untap. Draw an island. Play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks Polluted Delta. Gets an island. Casts Memory Deluge from their hand. Okay. I think the longer the game goes, technically the better off we are. Because in theory, our end game is a lot better. But with this much mana disadvantage, um, we're kind of in a bad spot. I would argue. Blood Moon. Gifts ungiven. Are you insinuating we deck them? No. <laughs> I don't think that's realistic. Although we could play Mesmeric Orb. <laughs> uh, opponent Counterspells. Sure. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that, so. The good news is we do play a lot of basic planes. So, like, drawing one shouldn't be hard. I mean, we have eight in the deck. The good news is we play Fury. That's true. I can actually cast a Fury here. And I did draw Prismari Command, which can let me make a treasure. Let's just throw out a Fury. It's probably going to get a, a Lightning Bolt, but... Okay, no targets. Pass the turn. There's the bolt. I mean, opponent has only 30 cards left in their deck. So if we're going by that as a metric, we're winning. <clears throat> opponent 
is passing. We still have not seen a way to win from our opponent. We get a divide by zero. Now divide by zero can actually let us get um, environmental sciences and we can tutor for a basic, um, basic planes. They're thinking about what to hit with Snapcaster Mage. It'll be the lightning bolt. Speed Force Punch, thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated, you're a wonderful human being. I'll let them cast their bolt. Let's go ahead and try and kill Snapcaster and make a treasure. Okay, they have another counter spell. Take three, pass the turn. Opponent attacks for two. We take two and go to ten. <laughs> we draw a Kaltra. <laughs> All right, pass the turn. I mean, it could go for the sorcery speed bounce blood moon, but I feel like that is incorrect. It's divide by zero. That's exactly the same reason that you would get uh, penalized if you were uh, playing, well, this as a magic deck. Go get environmental sciences, pass the turn. I mean, you've never seen your opponent's face or read their chat reactions, rather, when you miracle your Terminus in Battle of Wits. I'm pretty sure that's a war crime. Um, opponent attacks us for five. Odds are I'm just going to get bolted to death here. The real reason we lost is because it's turn 13 and we only have five lands. Like, everything our opponent has done is fine. We can, uh, in theory, deal with it, but... Uh, yeah, play Prismatic Vista. Environmental Sciences. Are they going to let this resolve? They do. I get a Plains. Uh, which I can't play because I played Prismatic Vista. Because I am a genius. <laughs> I'll put Yorian in my hand. Pass the turn. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's go ahead and get the punt on the counter there. <clears throat> if only Cauldra was Batter Skull, it wouldn't matter. Uh, not against our opponent's deck. They could just gain control of the token. Wasn't this the third punt? This is the third punt, yes. My macro might be broken. So, opponent attacks us for five, which puts us at two. Then we probably died a lightning bolt. Undercounting punts is not a punt. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, run it back for game two. Why are we always dead to bolt? Because Kano is a lightning rod. All right, we do want to play first. We will reveal Yorian. Generally, Blood Moon is not a problem, and this hand is way more reasonable. Uh, I'm going to lead on Steam Vents Tapped. Pass the turn. All right, we untap. Play a Flooded Strand. Pass the turn. We're going to get Raghavand or some bull and it's going to be glorious. Probably. Opponent opts. Opponent is currently losing on the clock. <laughs> this is going to be a very long game, I suspect. It's probably going to be a very long league. All right. Opponent plays a Sulphur Falls, then passes. We draw Unburial Rites. Play a Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. That's, yeah, we're going to fetch the, the basic island and basic planes. At least that's the plan. Um, might as well now, I suppose. If they were to flash something in, we could at least brazen borrower it. Double stack the fetches so we can get blown out by Shadow of Doubt. No, I'm good. Um, all right, flash brazen borrower. Hey, we get to untap with it. We draw subtlety, go to combat, attack for three, lightning bolt. Yeah, there's unfortunately nothing I can do about that. I could have tried to path my own Brazen Borrower, um, which may or may not have been unreasonable. Put a plays an island. Flash another Brazen Borrower. We draw a Mana Leak. Well, Mana Leak is nice. Go to combat, attack for three. Cryptic Bounce Steam Vents. That would be mean. Uh, I am actually going to path this Brazen Borrower. Just because cause we're desperate for lands. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead! Um, we don't need a second white source yet, so let's just go for another island. 
land drops and battle wits. It's unreasonable. Yeah, I know. Opponent is also stuck on four mana. Hey! <laughs> yes! Pass the turn. It should be. Memory Deluge. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and divide by zero. And I'm gonna loot Unburial Rites into the grave. Uh, I don't actually want environmental sciences right now. Opponent untaps. We untap. We draw Electrolyze. Pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna mana leak because they've missed land drops for so long. I actually don't want them to hit lands. I could if they play a creature or planeswalker. Like if they go for like Snapcast or Opt or something, subtlety and then path my subtlety. <laughs> Alright, opponent is passing. I can't imagine I like Electrolyze face, so. Hey, another divide by zero. Alright, pass the turn. Okay, opponent fetches. Steam vents tapped. Another memory deluge. All right. Let's divide by zero. Uh, I'm going to get environmental sciences this time. All right, we untap. We draw our own memory deluge. Yeah, that was a bad tap because I should have left up path, but... Cast environmental sciences. Um, I think I want another island. Okay, pass the turn. <laughs> that's speed force that's hilarious <clears throat> do i memory deluge in response here it doesn't seem that unreasonable as opposed to trying to do it on their end step because their counter spells are probably cheaper than mine i mean if they have dispel or mystical dispute or spell pierce it would be bad because odds are they're gonna have double counter spell you would do it that's all the confirmation i need don't dispute me bro um, I mean, land expressive iteration is pretty good. Okay, pass to our opponent. I have a subtlety. I should not be auto yielded. Karanos. All right, let's subtlety pitching electrolyze. Because what are the odds the Battle of Wits player has one of his two of subtleties? What's one card this deck needs that isn't modern legal? Uh, you know, I don't know. Land tax? <laughs> like, we draw Chandra Awakened Inferno, but cannot cast her. Intuition, Mystical Tutor, all better answers than mine. Play Teferi. Uptick. Hey, Snapcaster should be good, right? We can Snapcaster Mana Leak. Brainstorm plus Fetch Land. Any, any cantrips would make this deck better. Um, they would make other decks even better than it would make this deck better, but it would be an improvement to this deck. Okay, opponent has to discard hand size. Archmage's Charm. We draw Sulphur Falls. Uptick Teferi to six. See what we draw. Another Teferi. Uh, so let's cast an uncounterable Chandra. <laughs> opponent doing nothing while we, do, while we draw to a turn is great. I agree. What you gonna do now, opponent? <laughs> Probably, uh, Cryptic Command, Counter Bounce. Yeah, uh, nice counter. Can't be countered. <laughs> it's in blue, man! <laughs> it's right there! Uh, burn our opponent. <clears throat> Pass the turn. I don't, they, they don't print powerful tutors outside of, like, Modern Horizons. Um, so, powerful tutor in standard, odds are it's pretty low. Power, like... Karanos. I guess we're going to try Snap Mana Leak. Okay, opponent going to counterspell the Mana Leak to resolve the Karanos. Then they pass. We untap. We draw Steam Vents. Burn our opponent. Play to Fairy. Tuck Karanos. Alright, he scoops. He's going to game three. Well, good news! The Lord of the Rings set's gonna be modern legal and not a Modern Horizons set. So, that's what's coming instead of Modern Horizons 3. Hey, D Slayer, how's it going? We're in round two. Uh, we're not, obviously, we're not sideboarding here. <laughs> There's no sideboard here. 
I mean, as long as we draw lands, like, our deck is heavier than our opponent's. All right, reveal Yorian. Well, this hand is not good against Moon, but hopefully our opponent doesn't immediately Moon us. Opponent leads on Polluted Delta. We draw a path. We'll play a tap land. Pass the turn. Opponent going to crack Polluted Delta. They get a Steam Vents untapped and opt. They play a Sulphur Falls, and they pass. We draw Nimble Obstructionist. All right. I have a very bad feeling my opponent is just going to try for the turn three blood boon. It's like an all or nothing, and we're going to be screwed because of it. Oh, tap land! Saved by the tap land. Opponent passes. We untap and draw. Lightning bolt. Play castle of Antris. Pass the turn. <laughs> Why so low stream quality, Jack Spicer? They play a steam vents tapped, and they pass. We untap. We get a glacial fortress. Play Glacial Fortress. Pass the turn. They flash in a Brazen Borrower. Bolt the Borrower. What's the difference between Retro, Vintage, and Classic anyway? Uh, they're th like three different time periods usually. Vintage is, I think, the earliest? <laughs> I don't know. All right, we untap. We draw another Raugrin Triome. Uh, play Prairie Stream tapped. I'm keeping the Raugrin Triome just in case I need to emergency cycle. Um, in the event of a Blood Moon. Okay, Memory Deluge, that's fine. Raylan is the most intelligent of all trolls that I have ever come across. Opponent grabbed two things that were not lands. Interesting. Okay, we draw Mana Leak, so we are going to play this Rauger in Trio. That's good, we have double counter available now. Uh, I don't think I'm brave enough to activate Castle Vantress on my opponent's end step, though maybe I should be. Opponent going to flash in a Snapcaster Mage. I mean, if they're snapping for Opt, that's fine. No sense in cycling. <laughs> Under Bridge University. Okay, opponent opts. They untap. I actually think I will restart the client after this, uh, after this match. Battle of Wits may be too powerful. Now, if they fetch on their turn, I would obstruct. Okay, opponent's going to attack us for two. How long till someone career ends me? Depends on how long you stick around and how vocal of a troll you are. Then you gotta get somebody who counter trolls you while trolling me. Cycle nimble? Not yet. Okay, we get an is it charm. Pass the turn. Oh, for delta? Not yet. Archmage's charm to draw cards, that's fine. Okay, opponent fetches with polluted delta. Gets a steam vents tapped. They untap. They go to combat. They attack for two. Is it charm for two damage? They're gonna counter spell. Well, I can't mana leak, so I'm going to cast Nimble Obstructionist to block. And if they let it resolve and try and bolt it, I will path my own Nimble. <laughs> I do need to collect a lot of those clips for that purpose explicitly. We're getting our face bolted. Face bolted again. The wizard resolves. The Is it charm gets counter spelled. We block untap we draw fire and ice well that would have been a lot easier way <laughs> to deal with snapcaster but there was no way to know we were going to draw that they're going to make it into wits uh probably the white instant one mana removal okay well you know we gotta try actually no not yet <laughs> i will definitely die <laughs> if uh that's the case uh, I thought I had seven, so I could at least keep up Mana Leak, but... Okay, opponent's going to Snapcaster Mage, probably for a Lightning Bolt. Okay, I will Mana Leak Lightning Bolt. Let's go ahead and fire, because um, we have priority before they cast bol uh, uh, Bolt. Uh, I don't think I'm going to Mana Leak the Lightning Bolt. They're going to fire our face. They're just trying to burn us out. Okay, opponent plays an Island and passes. Not considering damage, what creature would be the most painful to get hit from face to face? Uh, there's a lot of horrific creatures, really. <laughs> Another bolt. Um, okay. Gotta hold up path for the hall? Yeah, probably. Rawl. Uh, Rawl gonna get mana leaked. Okay. Opponent is passing. I think we win on clock here, but I mean, in reality, uh, 
in in reality we would be trying to hold out to get like eight mana so we could battle of wits with archmage's charm back up okay opponent on taps just realized you haven't seen the blue card from the march cycle it's either the best or the worst all right so we won technically on clock although we did have an out and that sort of matchup is kind of the matchup we'd want in modern because it goes slow enough that we actually can react and play the game <laughs> delve counter but oh you mean logic knot logic knot except force of logic knot i think that would actually be too good <laughs> like you have to pay one blue but then you can pitch pitch cards to counter anything scalable force spike that'd be way too good because that that would be way better than condescend Sorry for kind of ignoring chat there for a minute. I was I was trying to pay attention because I was running very low on time. And I mean opponent was too, but phage the untouchable. You're stuck between an unstoppable object and an immovable force. What do you do? Uh get out of the way? <laughs> like which the premise seems to deny me the ability to do. Uh this is fine. We'll keep this. One slap lady cuz she's on the art for the SWAT from like the same series of sets. The, I think it's three mana destroy a power two or less creature. All right. So play Raugrin Triome to start, pass the turn. Opponent leads on Mana Confluence, which is somewhat concerning after a mulligan to six. Hey, we drew a Ragavan. They mulligan to five. All right, we're going for it. Literal just top deck the best card we can possibly top deck. Go to combat. Hit our opponent for two. Let's see what we exile. Mana Confluence. Well, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> Pass the turn. <clears throat> Raylan. Oh, I'm on the I'm on the wrong Oh the wrong overlay. Thrilling discovery. Looks like dredge. Oh god. It's like top decking a one hundred dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, I mean because it is. <clears throat> oh, you're a good boy. Just go lay down. Alright, Narcomiba coming out. Uh, that was a pretty minimal dredge. Uh, we draw a skull in turn. <laughs> play, play Celestial Colony. That's so disruptive. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Let me turn the porter cam back on because for some reason it's not. Probably because I gotta pet ya. Okay, opponent's turn. They play City of Brass. Go to combat. Attack us for one. We take one, go to 17. Then they pass. So let's go ahead and opt on their end step. Uh, I actually am going to keep divide by zero because I think the unsummon is going to matter more than just a counter spell. Motion to swap the skulls with Porter Emote. Everyone in favor spam can I Porter, can I Porter, can I Porter, can I Porter. Oh, oh good. Um, all right, Scalding Tarn, fetch. We'll get a basic island. And let's go ahead and dash the monkey. I have to add the rest of the, uh, the rest of the just follow emotes. Opponent has Dark Blast. Uh, yeah, I don't actually care enough to protect that. <laughs> Pass the turn. Cakes or candles? That's not bad. We could do, we could do cake. Party goers? Oh my god. I'm not gonna lean all the way into the birthday thing. All right, opponent's probably going to dredge Dark Blast. They do. They play a gemstone mine. This is probably an ox. Okay, so let's go ahead and divide by zero. Put the ox back in their hand. Let's get environmental sciences. Happy birthday! Oh, gosh. All right, opponent's going to otherworldly gaze at sorcery speed. I'm surprised they didn't just conflagrate their hand away, but, you know, what do I know? Opponent attacks us for one. We untap. Draw steam vents. Um, environmental sciences. Get an island. Gain some life. Play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. They draw. They're going to dredge an imp. Okay. Get some anarcho amoeba. Petition to lower the price of Bonk to 100 skulls? No. Opponent goes to combat. 
Tax us for one. We take one. Go to 16. But why? Because <laughs> I don't need constant noise spam. And I mean, I'm still getting it. Um, hmm. If this is Ox, we counter. Uh, I can... I'm okay mana leaking that. Opponent has nothing else in their hand. Okay, so now they Ox, actually. I should have I should have taken the six damage. This is going to be a very big dredge. Okay, here comes the Ox. This opponent's going to dredge multiple imps. Verdict clears things up pretty well for a turn. Uh, for a turn it will, but that's, that's about it. Um, I do have enough that I can Supreme Verdict and then leave up Brazen Borrower. Uh, though I might die to Creeping Chills. Totally. That's why we have the Animals channel. What are you doing? You're hiding behind my chair. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, he's being a weirdo. You're being a weirdo. You're being a weirdo, Porter. What's up? All right. Yep, Pona gets back a ton of stuff. Then passes. Gets back a ton of even more stuff. <laughs> what the dog doing? Um, all right, we untap. We draw Prismari Command. Unfortunately, one of the modes of that is not um, exile a graveyard. So Shock Hollowed Fountain, and then white, white, blue, blue, Supreme Verdict, pass the turn. Although, if they get really greedy with their dredges, and they have one card left or something like that, we can kill them with Prismari Command. That'd be funny. Uh, odds are I'm going to die to Creeping Chill, though. And probably another Conflagrate. Is Bouncing Ox before Wrathing good? Uh, no, because of the amount of mana they have. Like, they'll pro they will probably play a fifth land. Really hoping for no Blood Gas, too. The free Helixes? Yeah, I know, right? Alright. So I'll go ahead and yield the prized Amalgam. I could bounce this in response and have it discard to itself. Which would be pretty funny, but... Opponent is intelligent enough to leave six cards in their deck. They're gonna get all this stuff. Man, it's too bad I don't have a fog. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to yeet the ox. We untap. We do play cryptic, that's true. We draw steam vents, which is unfortunately not useful. So... Target player draws two cards, discards two cards, and makes a treasure. We basically have to hit Cryptic. Archmage's Charm, while similar to Cryptic, is not sufficient. And, oh, I can play uh, Engineered Explosives on three and blow up the board. I can do that. Um, so... I have to go to three, but I can do it. Uh, blue, white, red. Engineered explosives. <laughs> There's no way that they, you know, they don't kill us here. They just like dredge a thug and with one card left in their deck, just creeping chill us. Or hell, they probably just hard cast a creeping chill. Otherworldly gaze. Porter, you're a good boy. Delver of Farts thinks you're a good boy. And so does Jack Spicer. He thinks you're a good boy. Yeah, he told me to come over here and pet you and tell you that. Oh. 
Okay. We died a silver smote? No. They're all three drops. Opponent draws. They go to combat. They attack. Blow everything up. Has it? Because I didn't know that. <laughs> it, I, it's a good deck. Like, Dredge is a good deck. I just have the worst luck when I play Dredge. Alright, we lost. Finally. Um, run it back. I mean, it's it's just a you know fast um, fast deck that can get you a crazy crazy power level very quickly. All right, I would like to play first. What the heck's this deck? I'm playing Battle of Wits. 263 cards. Uh, this is really good. I'm going to keep it. Porter, quit sticking your nose and stuff, buddy. Just go lay down for a bit, okay? What's my record? Right now we're one and one. All right, play Flooded Strand. Fetch. Are you an insane? Uh, get a Steam Vents. Untapped. Cast Ragavan. Pass the turn. Opponent plays an inspiring vantage. They <laughs> have prismatic ending. Oh man. Okay. Well, we untap. We draw Rawl. Is it Viceroy? Shock Hollowed Fountain. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a mana confluence. Uh, they're going to cathartic reunion. I am going to counter that. That would be a lot of dredging. Unfortunately, I don't have any way to exile the grave. Um, path is useful. Pass the turn. <laughs> Just too many memes. <clears throat> Opponent. It's a great big whiff off of Dredge, but then casts Thrilling Discovery, which will be very unfortunate for us. Uh, yes, very unfortunate, I believe. I want to get, say, Narc Amoeba, along with a few other things. I wish you could have seen the rest of him at that moment when his tail was on screen. He, had, he was standing... But he was using one back foot to like try and dig in his ear, and he's just bent it a weird way. Freaking dork. All right. Um. I don't know that I path. You know what? I, I think I'm going to though. Opponent has no basics, maximum greed dredge. We draw Bone Crusher Giant. Pass the turn. I'm probably going to have to Archmage's Charm and Ox here. I don't want to do that, but uh, I would much prefer to draw cards. I have no idea what deck you're referring to. Opponent plays Narcomiba. 
well, they get a Narc Amiibo off their dredge. They go to combat. They attack us for four. I could flash Snapcaster and have it path itself. I think we just take four, though. Oh, Neobrand? Okay, opponent plays an ox. We have to counter this. There's no choice. We untap. We draw Supreme Verdict. All right, past the turn. Looks like we're snapping, blocking, and then pathing our own Snapcaster. Yes, I am aware of Fury of the Hordes. Okay, opponent is going to combat. Let's go ahead and Snapcaster Mage. Target Path to Exile. Block here. Path Snap. Oh, Gor the Gorio's Vengeance version? Oh, I'll just get an island. Take two, go to three. Using all your white producing lands to cast Snapcaster. What do I look like? An amateur? Because <laughs> I totally am. Uh, look like Ox again. Yep. Alright. Here comes the uh, Creeping Chill. Opponent discarding it, carded a Creeping Chill out of hand. Uh, and then they got one. Anyway. All right, one and two. What's wrong with Val Basics? I don't like the full art Val Basics because on Moto, all of the black and white lands look the same. If you play multiple kinds of them, they're really easy to mistake for one another, and it's just another way you can make a mistake. Uh, I think I have to keep this. Really hoping we draw a white land. Play an island, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Black Cleave Cliffs. Into a Ragavan! <laughs> yeah, tap and draw, is it charm? Pass the turn. Let's see, what's that, D Slayer? I can't hear you over the sound of me googling how to remove green sword icon. But it goes to combat. Attacks for two. Let's go ahead and yeet. Opponent thought seizes post yeet. <laughs> They take Is It Charm from us and replay Ragavan. We untap. We draw Wrath of God, which is unfortunately not a good card for us to have. Uh, we have to play Engineered Explosives on one, pass the turn. Ragavan hits me for two. Get a treasure. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! 
I mean, like, we couldn't have cast it if we top decked it, right? But, like, oh my god. Out of all of the cards they could have hit Battle of Wits. They hit Expressive Iteration. Now what do you have? Goif? Perfect. Hey, another island. Pass the turn. Why am I even a mod? I can't do the things. You just need more practice. Need more mod practice. Now, I can either take a monkey hit or I can take a very big Tarmogoyf hit. And unfortunately, I have to take the big Tarmogoyf hit. Uh, blow up one drops during combat. <laughs> oh, we get hit for... F what is that? We got hit for five? Wonderful. Put up. Wow. Did they just... They didn't reveal that. They just have Luris in their main deck? I have Wrath of God. We're in a ditch roll. We do get a white land. We can play a white land tap to pass the turn. We need another white land. And then we can Wrath of God and maybe still be in this game. Mono Blue Battle of Wits, huh? Funnily enough, I did actually construct Mono Blue Battle of Wits because I got tired of mana issues. So I was like trying to I was running like spontaneous mutation as my um as my removal. It was pretty good. Uh because you could like uh merchant scroll, mystical teachings. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do in mono blue battle of wits. Like run all the flash creatures. Uh you just lose out on so much. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Alright, now you're gonna replay that Goyf, right? You, you don't watch in mod view? Mono Blue Wits is mad meta magic? Maybe. Maybe. Opponent bobbling again. So now, even when I do Wrath, they play Croxa. Okay, I don't really want to discard any of the cards in my hand, if I'm being honest. But I think it's Engineered Explosives that I have to get rid of. Alright, we untap. I need a white land. Come on. Come on, Wrathland. Commit to memory. Uh, am I dead? I'm probably dead. I see. Alright, we're just gonna go to the next game. Now that we know what we're playing against, we can, in theory, keep a better opener. I think I have to uh, make some major adjustments to this deck. I think I've gone too halfway between, like, a mid rangey deck and a uh, control deck. HAPPY BIRTHDAY! <laughs> Alright, I would like to play first. Reveal Yorian. BAN HIM! BAN HIM! <sighs> Alright, we're gonna keep this. You wonder what it would sound like if everybody redeemed happy birthday at the same time? I think it would be... Uh, unpleasant is the word. I don't know if it plays it sequentially or not. Opponent I'm gonna lead on Raghavan. And bobble. And bobble. There's no reason they could not have bobbled me to see if I was drawing removal prior to playing Raghavan. Alright, we untap. We draw Castle Vantress. Opponent bobbles us again. Uh, Shock Hollowed Fountain. Pass the turn. We are going to get hit by Raghavan. Opponent plays Verdant Catacombs. Fetches. They go to combat. They attack us for two. We take two. Opponent exiles a Scalding Tarn. Alright, thankfully no value there. And they play Renin Six. Okay. Faithful Mending. Yeah, I've been keeping up on the spoilers. Uh, we draw Is It Charm, but I have no way to play it. Um, so I think we ditch Prairie Stream 
and irrigated farm. Um, I am going to, I'm going to dump raw <laughs> to subtlety for this. Here comes the mana screw. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Come on, Redland. There it is. Redland. Play Prismatic Vista. Pass the turn. <laughs> nice try, Tarek. Oh, boy. You absolute luck sack. I hate this game. Ain't nothing lucky about it. I, could, I intelligently constructed this list. All right, pass the turn. Intelligently, indeed. Opponent goes to combat. Tax us for two. Fetch. Get one of our two basic mountains. Um, two damage to any target. And then we make a treasure. Pretty sure you filtered by Jeskai colors in your collection and hit add all. Uh, no, I did not. Because I have a lot more cards than that. Do you understand how many unplayable draft shaft rares I have on this account? It's a lot. Uh, opponent fetches and shock stomping ground, plays Renin 6. Upticks Renin 6, picks up a land. I did not pick the 240 most expensive cards. <laughs> you know, I gotta do it to him. Kill Renin 6. Pass the turn. But it plays Dragon's Rage Channeler. Are we playing Chandra's? We have the six mana Chandra. Fire up Moto and 5 with Popper Green Red Slivers. Go for it. All right, we take five, go to 12. Untap. Trombone Crusher Giant. Oh no. Um. Flashback Faithful Mending. I should have left a white land open for path. Why no Torch of Defiance? Because I was working off of a previous list. Uh, that's technically something to do with my mana. Even though it ain't great. Plane Cycle. Hey, next turn I can animate Colonnade after I die. Let's... We have two basics. We'll get a Prairie Street. Pass the turn. Heaven help us if Kano ever puts Liliana of the Veil in a deck for a stream. I have them! I just don't play them! All right, we take a million damage. Renin six. Prove you have them. Put them on screen right now. You know, Silver. I know why you're doing this. Four. I have them. <laughs> See, I knew that was coming, but. All right, we're getting bobbled again. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have Planar Cleansing in this deck. Um, Alright, cast an Opt. Mana Leak, not gonna help. <laughs> Neither is Terastodon. Alright, alright, Luris. You got us. One more. Actually, I am gonna restart the client. It does appear to still lag a bit with uh, Battle of Wits specifically. And we wonder why more women don't play Magic. Uh, for silver, I'm pretty sure, well, never mind, but go on. <laughs> Jack Spicer's over there like, well, give me the ammunition, bro. What were you going to say? What were you about to say, imply, or insinuate? I'm ready. <laughs> Y'all are incorrigible. I'll take pity, pity is free. <laughs> It's not free. The cost is your dignity. Nothing is ever free. All right. Reveal the Orion. Opener with Battlewits. That's promising. It's very promising. Except lunch, Kano. It's sometimes free. Actually, I'm I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as a free lunch, which might make you a liar, Tarek. The opponent can take Thought Scour, Faithful Mending, or Engineered Explosives, but they see Battle of Wits, so the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Stop gaslighting me. Impossible. Tarek is never wrong. Ooh, I don't know. We draw Mana Leak. Play Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. How do I draw Gaslighting? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, crap. Um, How the heck do I beat Cauldra? Whoever thought printing Cauldra was a good idea? Uh, all right, let's get a Hollowed Fountain. Thought Scour ourself. We draw a land after milling two more land. 
untap, we draw Prismari Command, which also doesn't help because it's three mana instead of two. Uh, play Sulfur Falls, pass the turn. I mean, Prismari Command at least lets us like loot and get a treasure. Just draw Terminus. Yeah, good idea. Why didn't I put Terminus in this deck? Why is the equipment itself indestructible? That's what I want to know. There is free lunch. I got the grill fired up. Enjoying the cold outside while the neighbors most likely calling the police of the crazy and grilling outside in the middle of a snowstorm. <laughs> well, at least I drew path. <laughs> and yeah, exactly. Engineered explosives does not help here, unfortunately. Gain control of the germ. What an absolute Chad play. Oh man. What a play is a swamp. Another Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> What could be worse than one Stoneforge Mystic? Um, I mean, if the second one is Batter Skull, that's actually fine. Oh my god. Opponent goes to combat, attacks for five. Path the Germ. Easy Mana Leak. What do you mean, easy Mana Leak? There's nothing I can Mana Leak. The sword? They're just gonna put it into play with their other Stoneforge. All right, Crack Scalding Tarn. Let's go get Raugrin Triome. <laughs> What? What was the punt? No! I have a wrath! It literally doesn't matter! <laughs> Alright, they get a sword. They untap. It does? They wouldn't have the fire and ice? They're not gonna have the fire and ice. So we make a treasure, destroy fire and ice. This was literally my plan the entire time. Now we top deck a land cast battle of wits and win the game. Easy. Does it make me a bad person to enjoy Kato getting defensive about his lines? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Ugh. Now, not only is chat gonna gaslight me about gaslighting them, <laughs> but it's gonna become uh, actual gaslighting to try and get me to... Are you sure that was the right line, Kato? <laughs> There's a better one. <laughs> Just... Um, drop the mana leaks, play the tap land. Unfortunately, we did not draw an untapped land naturally. Uh, so if they do top deck the seventh land, we are actually boned. Just wait until they vindicate Battle of Wits. <clears throat> not gonna happen. They will thought seize it though. <laughs> Opponent's gonna be like, oh no, I gotta read. <laughs> There's cards I've never seen before. Uh, they have to take Battle of Wits. Like, <laughs> there's no other option here. Unless they could uh, put out a clock that's just going to kill me on their next turn. Dead Guy Ale, is it playable? What is Dead Guy Ale? Like, I know it's a deck from Legacy. That much I do know. But, like, what in what reference are you asking it? They take Divide by Zero. They could take Wrath and just kill me? Not if they're not equipping Cauldra. Black-White Token Aggro Midrange? I mean, it doesn't sound unreasonable. I've not seen a token deck or like black white tokens in modern in a long time. Oh, is that what you're saying? Is this deck playable? Well, we're in the one in four bracket or the one in three bracket right now. So I'll let you draw your own conclusions. All right, time to get mana tithed. Are you ready kids? Or vindicate? I will be sad if it's vindicate and one free man is correct. Don't do it, bro. Just tell me you didn't read the cards. <laughs> you just... I think you when you said one in four bracket, I think you drew your conclusion early. Nobody wins at this stage. <laughs> they just they didn't read the cards. They were like, oh, that divide by zero can answer Cauldra. <laughs> Never mind the other card that says win the game on it. We won with Battle of Wits. Mission accomplished. We got there. <sighs> and you all had doubts. If I had opened a prediction, y'all would have bet on <laughs> Kano losing. Uh, I can't believe you guys sometimes. Oh, there's more Kamigawa spoilers. The land looks broken. Haven't hit two wins, statistically speaking. You're likely to win this one. <laughs> uh, D Slayer. You know, I'm wondering why people aren't running Subtlety and Thought Scour in the same deck. Opponent fetches, shocks... Thought seizes. Sissia, the one true believer. Yeah, and three round, um, in three round tournaments, it's a five round tournament, so I'm not sure that applies. 
They take Snapcaster, which I'm not sure is correct. I think you actually take Subtlety here. Play Windswept Teeth, pass the turn. Oh, Subtlety plus Thought Scour is jankier than Battle of Wits? I don't know about that. Kano's about to clean up, I'm a believer. No! <laughs> this is illegal, opponent. You are not allowed to do this. Thought Scour ourself. We drew an island. Perfect. Well, I guess I'll discard this cryptic command that will never see the light of day. <laughs> this is the worst thing that could have happened. All right, we draw planes, play an island, pass the turn. <sighs> Opponent on taps, they draw a card. They play a silent clearing. Is it Stoneforge? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? What? What's my, one of my favorite cards and greatest weapons used against me so audaciously. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Everything about this is just awful. The porter's like trying to comfort me because I'm very, very agitated. Oh my god. Happy birthday! <laughs> just, just, oh my god. They have one card left in hand. They were just like, you know what? His mana base is greedy enough. The double thoughts, or the thought season, the <laughs> double smallpox will get him. Uh, Happy birthday! You know, it, it feels like a birthday right now. <laughs> get an island, untap, draw planes, play a planes, pass the turn, stop on my opponent's upkeep, ice that godless shrine. Let's draw a card. Castle Vantress, okay. By cleanup, I'm gonna win the game, not clear out your battlefield. I swear to God, if that last card is smallpox. <laughs> Thank you, opponent. Play Castle Vantress, pass the turn. <laughs> just... What could be worse than two smallpoxes? Oh, man. Yeah, Porter, you're a good boy. Oh, don't do it. Okay. 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 Had me frightened with the two black mana. We'll discard engineered explosives. Pona passes. We untap. Unfortunately, I did not have a blue card to pitch to subtlety. Shock steam vents. Pass the turn. Cast EE for zero. It's safer on the board. Yeah, it's also not relevant against anything my opponent has. Uh, Ditch Wrath of God. EE could have killed Lily. Yeah, but I'm going to flash in subtlety. That's, that's what I'm going to do here. Opponent floated mana. Lingering souls? Oh, what a jerk. Well, now I have no choice. Yeah, EE can't kill uh, Caldra. <sighs> Attack Lily. Opponent jumps. We play a planes. Put Yorian in our hand. Pass the turn. When's Porter's birthday? Um, actually, it is. Uh, I think it's about a week earlier than mine. All right, we lose our subtlety. Not that I ever had any to begin with. No. Okay. No! <sighs> All right, we discard a mountain. We draw windswept teeth. And it is unfortunate that I do not have... Pitch yourself to the subtlety. <laughs> uh, pass the turn. Technically, chat's in his hand. Kill. All right, opponent makes a sack. I mean, all we got, all we really like, realistically have to do here is draw to fairy, or a lot of anything else, for that matter. Like a burn spell's fine. We untap. We draw supreme verdict, which does kill a token, and would otherwise be discarded. Hopefully, we can uh, either, yeah, we could draw battle wits. We can start activating Castle Vantress to maybe find. Opponent drew another Liliana. I'm not sure why they didn't just play this one to have a higher loyalty Liliana, but... Okay, Sulphur Falls. Play it. Pass the turn. We can start activating Vantress. Can I get a play set of Smallpox altered with your reaction face? Another... Another Lingering Souls. Uh, Mystical Teachings. What instance do we have in this deck? Let's consult the deck list. Actually, I know exactly what I need to do here. Uh, mystical teachings to the top. Okay. We draw mystical teachings. Pass the turn. We let our opponent force us to discard mystical teachings. 
They discard Thoughtseize. They go to combat. They attack us for two. We take two and go to nine. On their end step, we can flash it back because of Urborg. We go get Gifts. Untap. We draw Divide by zero. Um, actually, yes. Divide by zero. Get Environmental Sciences. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. So if they play Liliana Uptick, we just discard Environmental Sciences. Porter, you're a good boy. Tarek thinks so. Uh, we discard the Environmental Sciences. Opponent discards a Swamp. They attack us for two. He does. I tell him all the time. So Gifts Ungiven. Okay. <clears throat> and we get Unburial Rites. And I think Terastodon. I could go get Archon of Cruelty. Problem is it's not going to be able to attack. And any other ones of our threats um, will just die to Liliana Edict. Unless I get the uh, Sarah's Emissary and name Planeswalker. But Unburial the Rites Terastodon. Porter, you're a good boy. Silver thinks so. You're a good boy. I tell him he's a good boy all the time. Literally all the time. Every single day I tell him how much I love him. Never a day he goes unappreciated. Okay. Untap. We draw a Snapcaster Mage. Unburial Rites Terastodon. Kill Lily and two of our lands. Okay, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. <laughs> Vindicate Terastodon. Okay. They play a Silent Clearing. They go to combat, they attack for two in the air, that's fine. We untap. We draw Teferi Time Raveler. Bounce the Elephant Token. Play Erd Mesa, go to combat. Attack for six. Look at me, playing this game like I got a plan. They sack Silent Clearing to draw a card. They go to kill Teferi. We won half our entry back. <laughs> no treasure chest this time, but Battle of Wits, I feel, performed admirably. Uh, I've definitely gotten some punts up on the board. Uh, I've definitely messed up quite a bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined, and remember you can follow me on Twitch. Or, for those of you still here, you can, of course, find my YouTube, exclamation point YouTube. Uh, exclamation point discord you want to join in on the discussion in the discord it's like the twitch chat but every day of the week not sure if that's a good or bad thing but it's something you should be aware of uh i want you to know that you're all wonderful people Happy birthday! it's still not my birthday and uh i gotta call it because it's a little later than i wanted to stream but good night everybody y'all are wonderful people see if i can see if i can roll the credits again